Are you shitting my dick? Hey y'all, welcome to my video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, wanting to watch my 32 week bump date. I'm actually 33 weeks now, but we're just doing like a recap of last week since that's, that week is finished. I am 33 weeks and like three or four days now, so super exciting, we're getting there. It does feel like it is dragging now. When I was like 15 weeks, everything went by so fast. And even then it felt like a drag, but it really goes by fast. And this last part when your body can't take it anymore is when it feels like a drag, like every day is kind of a struggle. But okay, let's go ahead and get into the video. I first wanted to show you my little baby. I don't know why this place sucks, man, at taking pictures like like the appointment's good, everything goes good, they tell me stuff, but the pictures do not be it. That's his like, both of them are his side profiles. I don't know if you can tell, his little nose. Yeah, so I went ahead and entered a video too of him kicking. When I go to ultrasounds, for some reason he like never kicks. Literally when I go to the ultrasounds, like I feel him kicking, but Every time I go there, it's like he just freezes. All right, this doesn't. All it does is kind of makes him move a little bit, oh, okay. but it doesn't cool. doesn't do anything. But let's see. Okay. See. Oh. <laughs> <Just jumps. laughs> and sometimes if they're not doing good, I can uh -huh. I can zap them all day long, and they won't. So they use this zapper thing on my stomach to see if he's gonna move. So I'll enter that video and you can see him just like kick real quick, crazy. But okay, let's talk about 32 weeks. So I actually got sick at the beginning of my 32nd week. I, I, I had a fever, I just had chills. I was hot, then I was cold, hot, then I was cold. I wasn't coughing too much, but my nose was super stuffy and my throat was sore too. So I'm not really the person to get sick. I don't get sick. Literally once every blue moon. I can't even remember, remember the time I got sick. As a child, I got sick and the next day, like I'd be fine. And that was the case for this time either. I got COVID tested and everything because I didn't want to risk having something, especially while pregnant. So I got COVID tested, I got another rapid test and they both came out negative, so it wasn't COVID. So it had to be something. I know the flu's going around right now too, but I feel fine now. I literally double dosed down <laughs> the day I was sick. I took Tylenol, I had cough drops, I had tea, I had Vicks, I had, I had everything. I, I hate getting sick when I do get sick. It's very bad, you know, for that one day. It just feels like everything is just, ugh, is the world is coming to an end when I get sick because it's it's every blue moon. So I was sick, I, I puked too, so that wasn't good. And I have so much food aversion, like I don't wanna eat. I have to force myself to eat. Usually my first meal is around noon, if not later, I know that's so bad. But I just don't feel hungry and I I tell myself, you know, you need to eat, you know, you're growing something inside you, but I, I, I don't, I don't. So a lot of food adversions, I'm trying to get better at it. Like today I eat breakfast and all. I try not to push myself for breakfast too much because I'm just not that hungry and I don't want to waste food. But just trying to feed myself and stay hydrated is the main thing. Headaches. Headaches are also a thing. I I have a bad headache for about 20 minutes, so obviously it's not a migraine because migraines can last like all day, right? But it's usually like a headache that just makes me so lightheaded. And, and sometimes I just have to sit down, I have to stay still, I have to like focus on my breathing to get through this headache because I automatically just want to lay down and I know if I lay down I'm gonna go to sleep so I try to push through the headaches I wouldn't necessarily say I have them often I want to say once a day maybe once every other day of, of my 32nd week but nothing nothing too bad nothing that I couldn't handle at least for a short period of time you know it did pass through eventually I can feel him getting bigger. Lucas can definitely feel what's going on in there now. And he is, he's, <laughs> he's just like, uh, like, not like, not, uh, he never says that, but it's like, whoa, like, 
you feel that? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's what I've been feeling, you know? And sometimes I can push down on my stomach and I can feel him, like, I could feel his little body part pushing against my stomach. So it's a very, it's such a weird experience. And you have to constantly tell yourself, like, it's natural, it's a natural thing, you know? Because it just feels like a parasite sometimes. Like, whoa, you're sucking the life out of me and you're only getting bigger. <laughs> so it definitely scares me. What, six weeks left? Six, seven weeks left now. So it's definitely countdown time. And I'm ready. I'm ready for him to get out, get out of my body so I can love him from the outside. I love him. I love that he's probably the safest in there, but I'm tired. I am so tired. And he he got he gotta get out. Um his eviction notice is coming real soon because I don't know how long I can do this. If I get up wrong, like I get this really round ligament pain. Um, I get this really strong round, round ligament pain that makes me want to scream. Like it hurts so, so bad. Um, I do have pelvic pressure. Um, for some reason, like my vagina feels like numb. <laughs> I don't know. It feels, it feels like different. So I've been trying to keep up on that. And yeah, just trying to just trying to live life healthily. I probably de need to include more veggies in my diet. <laughs> but it's so hard. All I want is ice cream. So I really haven't had many cravings. Just sweets. I'm always on the sweets. I always want something after dinner, you know. It just be calling my name, you know. After dinner, you need something sweet. You need some ice cream. You need some cookies. You need something for that little cherry on top of the dinner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's mainly all that I've been getting, all that I can think of. All the normal stuff, obviously, like nothing fits. Um, it's hard to get up. It's hard to get myself up. Some days I just feel so just down. Like, I just feel so down and like I can't really do anything. <laughs> Knowing that I can't do much because of my limited mobility is a little irritating. I like to do this, do that, and I mean, I got my lazy days as well, but it's just annoying that getting up is such, like, a big thing that I don't want to do anything <laughs> just because I have to get up, you know? And sleeping, I love to sleep, at least try to. These days, I am so uncomfortable that I can't really sleep. I think I said that in my 31-week update, that I'm uncomfortable. It's still a thing, and it's only going to get worse from here. I'm just trying to deal with it. Some nights I do get sleep. I do sleep like a log. Other nights, not really. That's just been a struggle. I'm still breathing hard, as y'all can see. Uh, everything makes me breathe hard. Anything I do, I got to take a seat, take a drink of water. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's all I can say for my... 32 week update. I do want to show y'all a bump date. Let me lower this down a little bit. This is how I'm looking. I don't know if y'all can tell. So, this is how my stomach looks. It's more going like outward. I feel like I was growing like all around, but now like it's just growing outward. So I am measuring at what I'm supposed to measure. I think last time it was 32, so 32 inches. So yeah, there we go. We do have a baby name. Um, we don't have a whole name, <laughs> so we're working on it, but yeah. That concludes this video. Um, if you want to see more bump dates, go ahead and like and subscribe. I will try to keep up every week. I've been trying to do it these last few weeks. I would have did it my whole pregnancy, but it seemed like a little much. But especially this third trimester, I'm really feeling everything. So I know I wanted to document this, you know, for myself and for my baby. And for him to see, you know, like, I wanted you and... It'll be cute. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, clicking on this video. If you want to know more, if you want to see, I'm going to do another video on how I got pregnant. <laughs>
which seems obvious, but not that obvious. You know, there's a story. So, okay, I'm done. All right, have a good day. Bye.